Hello everyone! Today I'm showing you how to make a skid and pump boss battle. Please shut up you stupid pumpkin. Ha! To start with, go into the Super Mario Bros game style. And then select the underground theme. Build the first arena like this, make it one screen wide, and place a semi-solid platform here. This is where Mario will stand. Now build the first spooky boy like this, my boy Skid. I'm super happy with the way this pixel art turned out, I think it looks really good. You can either make this cannon red or black depending on how difficult you want it to be. I chose to make mine red because I'm the best gamer in the world. Place a Lakitu that shoots fish bones above. Higher above add a key timer using a muncher and a goomba. Place a key door leading to the next arena. Also give Mario a fire flower. Obviously I had to be a bit more creative when making this boss because I had to base it on the character designs and not how they act in Friday Night Funkin'. This is quite difficult but I'm happy with the end result. Add coins to the bricks to prevent soft locks and cheese. Build another arena the same way as the first. And place a semi-solid platform for Mario to stand on. Now build Spooky Boy number 2, Pump, like this. Place a cannon on track underneath the semi-solid platform. These are his attacks. Using pals in difficult to get areas, we can make a life bar system. The one-way gates are there so Mario can't get soft locked. The stacked munchers work as the health bar. So when each pal gets hit, the bottom muncher is destroyed until the last one with the key gets destroyed, giving Mario the key. Here's how it works. Build a new arena the same way we did the last two. And build Skid and Pump both together this time. The way these two turned out looks really good in my opinion and I'm happy with it. Remember to add coins to the bricks to prevent cheese. Place two semi-solids like this. Place a row of one-way walls so Mario can't get up. Then add a pipe spewing out shell merds. You might want to add an arrow pointing towards this question block, so the player knows that it's important. Here's how this room works. You have to shoot the shelmet towards the question block giving Mario the key. Build the last arena like this. Split the arena into two different parts down the middle. Place a row of frozen coins below Mario. This is pretty much the same as my multiplayer versus Friday Night Funkin' level, so if you want to know how to make that, just watch that video for more in-depth detail. Add a bob -omb surrounded by hard blocks that a muncher falls on after a certain amount of time that leads straight to the flag. Also, give Mario a shell mitt. The dry bones and the Galoomba are meant to be skid and pump. As you can see, it's really simple and very similar to my multiplayer versus Friday Night Funkin' level. 
Pause here if you want a copy. So apparently one person watching this isn't subscribed. Go and check if you're this person and change it if you enjoy. It helps me out a ton. Thank you. Oh. Yo, it's me. I've got my face cam on again because people liked that from the last video. They said I should do all oh, more videos with face and voice, so I'm doing it. Epic skid and pump boss battle. If you want to play this for yourself, I'll leave I'll leave the ID at the end. This is Skid. This is against the spooky boys. I think yeah, Skid, because the other one's Pump. His name he's got a pumpkin on his head, so his name's Pump. But this one you just have to avoid the cannon. This one's like a quicker one. That fish almost killed me. Did you see that? And here's Pump. And you have to go up and hit the powers. I like the pixel art I did. I think I did a decent job. I, I like it anyway. Jump. Woo. There we go. Easy. By the way, shout out to Raznia for getting the world record on last boss fights video. The Among Us imposter. He got the in world record on this. And if you want to get a shout out in the next video, get the world record on this level. And I'll give you a shout out. And it'll be Pog. I just t took damage twice because I'm bad. I'm not very good at this game, you know. Right, I'm back. And I, I, I kept my fire flowers. Never mind, I said nothing. You have to scroll the screen upwards. There we go. You need to scroll the screen upwards. To get the shelmet, and then you have to get the shelmet down here. And da get the shelmet down here, and then fire it over there. To try hit that on off block. It might be a bit confusing. I might need to. You might want to add like another arrow pointing towards the block. So then people know to fire. I probably should have done that. I'm just noticing all this stuff now. Go on. Need to get that shell down. Is it just stuck up? There we go. And two shots and he's dead. It didn't have enough speed, excuse me. Anyway, I'm back to where I was. There we go. I don't know, I must have hit it really slowly there. So I hit it quite slow there. Now it's Friday Night Funkin' time, like the one from my competitive Mario Maker video. I used the same thing that I did with the ice blocks and the potaboos, and that's quite pog. If you want to get the world record on this, the ID will be on screen there. There's Skid and Pump. Oh my god, another Skid, pog, and you get free one-ups in case you're doing this in Endless. Be nice to people in Endless. Now time to get the top of the flagpole. There we go, I got the top of the flagpole. If you've enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see some more face cam videos. I've been doing more of that recently. Yes, I hope you enjoyed Pog. A Have a great Pog, Pog day. day. And I've well, got to tell you, you that Big, big Chungus, Chungus sends, sends his, his regards. regards.